In Jaimine astrology, karakas are the significators that determine on which person or thing a planet has influence. Of these karakas, the most important is the Athmakaraka, significator of the soul. The term Athmakaraka is derived from two Sanskrit words, Athma, meaning soul, and Karaka, meaning indicator or significator. Therefore, the Athmakaraka planet is often referred to as the indicator of the soul, or simply the soul planet. To identify the Athmakaraka planet in a person's Vedic birth chart, we consider the degrees of the planets. It's important to note that we exclude the outer planets such as Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto, as well as the lunar nodes, Rahu and Ketu, from this calculation. Instead, we focus on the traditional planets, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. The planet with the highest degree in the chart, regardless of the zodiac sign it's in, becomes the Athmakaraka planet. The Athmakaraka planet is regarded as having a profound significance. It is believed to represent an individual's deepest desires, inner nature, and the primary life lessons or challenges they are meant to face and learn from in their current lifetime. In essence, the Athmakaraka planet serves as a guiding light on the person's karmic path and spiritual journey. Each person's Athmakaraka planet is linked to a specific house, zodiac sign, and nakshatra. These astrological factors provide more insights into the individual's soul. They help us understand their personality, strengths, interests, character traits, and the fundamental nature of their inner self. Now, when we explore the soul's purpose for each planet as the Athmakaraka, we need to consider what each planet represents at a deeper level. Let's take a closer look at the unique soul purposes associated with different planets serving as the Athmakaraka. If your Athmakaraka is the sun, you likely possess a natural and unshakable self-assuredness. You exude stability, warmth, and fearlessness in your demeanor. Your primary purpose or life goal is not solely about achieving personal authority and acclaim, but also about empowering and uplifting those around you. However, it's important to note that you can occasionally come across as conceited or overly self-assured, unintentionally rubbing others the wrong way. Much like the sun itself, which shines brightly without recognizing its radiance, you may be oblivious to how you are perceived by others. This can make it challenging to establish close relationships with you, and those who do may sometimes feel overwhelmed or overshadowed by your intense presence. Nonetheless, individuals with the sun as their Athmakaraka possess the potential to become exceptional leaders. Being in your presence often feels invigorating, as you tend to inspire and motivate those around you. Gaining recognition and respect holds significant importance in your life. It's crucial to understand that the influence of the sun as the Athmakaraka can vary based on several factors. These include the zodiac sign in which the sun is placed, the house it occupies, the aspects it receives, and most notably, the nakshatra or lunar mansion in which it is situated. The sun's influence on your life and personality is strongly shaped by the zodiac sign it resides in. Each sign imparts its unique characteristics and qualities to the sun, adding layers of nuance to your overall disposition. For example, a sun in Aries may imbue you with fiery determination and a competitive spirit, while a sun in Taurus might bestow a more steadfast and practical nature. Similarly, the house in which the sun is positioned can have a profound impact on your life. It highlights the specific areas of life where you are likely to shine the brightest. For instance, a sun in the 10th house could signify a strong drive for career success and public recognition. Furthermore, the aspects that the sun forms with other planets in your birth chart play a significant role in shaping your personality and life experiences. Favorable aspects can enhance the sun's positive qualities, while challenging aspects may present obstacles that need to be overcome. One of the most influential factors in interpreting the sun's role as the Athmakaraka is the nakshatra or lunar mansion in which it is situated. Nakshatras are lunar constellations that add a layer of subtlety and depth to the interpretation of a planet's influence. The specific nakshatra can reveal unique qualities, talents, and challenges associated with the sun's placement in your birth chart. Overall, if you have the sun as your Athmakaraka, you tend to possess innate confidence, with a life purpose centered not only on personal recognition but also on uplifting and empowering others. While you may sometimes come across as overconfident, your potential for leadership and inspiration is considerable. However, the sun's influence is highly contingent on various astrological factors, including its zodiac sign, house placement, aspects, and the next chatra it occupies, which collectively shape your unique personality and life path. If your Athmakaraka is the moon, 
you possess a profound awareness of your own emotions, and your soul's purpose or life mission revolves around nurturing and caring for others. You have a deep connection to emotions, and you tend to be exceptionally nurturing, compassionate, and empathetic. You derive joy from taking care of those you love and hold dear. However, your emotional landscape can be quite turbulent, marked by mood swings and sensitivity. People around you might feel like they have to be cautious with their words and actions, as you can be emotionally delicate. You often face and learn profound lessons related to emotions and feelings at the beginning of your life, both your own and those of others. These lessons can be tough, but once learned, they transform you into a deeply compassionate individual who leads and loves from the heart. Your true essence lies in being a genuine nurturer, offering care and support without any ulterior motives or selfish interests. Your calling often leads you to professions like teaching and medicine, as any job that involves making someone else feel better or more nourished resonates with your true essence. It's important to note that the influence of the moon as the Athmakarika is not fixed and can vary based on several astrological factors. The zodiac sign in which the moon is positioned significantly affects your emotional expression and personality. For instance, a moon in Cancer may amplify your nurturing qualities, making you exceptionally caring and protective, while a moon in Aquarius could infuse a more detached and unconventional emotional style. Furthermore, the house where the moon resides can shed light on the specific areas of life where your nurturing instincts come into play. A moon in the fourth house, for example, might indicate a strong focus on family and home life, while a moon in the tenth house could suggest a nurturing approach to your career and public image. The aspects that the moon forms with other planets in your birth chart also shape your emotional world. Positive aspects can enhance your nurturing qualities and make it easier for you to connect with others emotionally. Conversely, challenging aspects may bring emotional challenges that need to be addressed. Lastly, the nakshatra or lunar mansion in which the moon is placed adds an extra layer of meaning to your emotional landscape. Each nakshatra has its unique attributes and influences, further refining your emotional tendencies and life experiences. Overall, if you have the moon as your Athmakaraka, you possess a keen awareness of your emotions and a life purpose centered around nurturing and caring for others. You are naturally compassionate and empathetic but may grapple with emotional ups and downs. However, once you overcome these challenges, you become a deeply loving individual who offers care and support selflessly. The specific influence of the moon as the Athmakaraka is determined by factors such as its zodiac sign, house placement, aspects, and the nakshatra it occupies, all of which contribute to shaping your unique emotional journey. If Mars is your Athmakarika, you are a fearless go-getter known for your bold and straightforward nature. Mars is often likened to a warrior or soldier in astrology, and when it is your Athmakarika, your life's mission is centered around protecting others. This protective instinct is akin to a soldier's duty to defend their land, even at the risk of their own life. So, if Mars is your Athmakarika, your primary purpose is to shield and safeguard those who cannot protect themselves. Your soul's mission might involve engaging in battles and overcoming adversaries. However, these battles are not limited to physical combat but can encompass any challenges or obstacles that you encounter in life. You may frequently find yourself in conflicts or disagreements with others due to your assertive and sometimes confrontational demeanor, which can rub people the wrong way. Others may perceive you as aggressive, quick-tempered, or even rude. However, you have significant lessons to learn when it comes to diplomacy, cooperation, and the pursuit of peace. Despite your abrasive tendencies, you are a natural protector with innate courage that is hard to ignore. You are willing to stand up for others, even in the face of adversity. It's important to note that this doesn't necessarily mean you must become a soldier or join the army. Instead, it signifies that you should raise your voice against injustice and oppression, especially on behalf of those who cannot advocate for themselves. You are unwavering in your beliefs and unafraid to challenge both people and circumstances. You are also characterized by your quick-paced nature, with abundant, restless energy and a tenacious spirit that drives you to move forward swiftly in life, pursuing your goals and overcoming obstacles with determination. However, it's crucial to understand that the influence of Mars as the Athmakaraka can vary depending on several astrological factors. The zodiac sign in which Mars is positioned plays a significant role in shaping your assertive traits. For example, Mars in Aries may make you particularly impulsive and competitive, while Mars in Scorpio could imbue you with intense passion and determination. The house where Mars is located provides insight into the specific areas of life where your protective instincts and assertiveness are most prominent. A Mars in the first house, for instance, may indicate a strong focus on self-expression and personal identity, 
while a Mars in the seventh house could highlight your assertiveness in relationships and partnerships. Furthermore, the aspects that Mars forms with other planets in your birth chart contribute to your overall personality and life experiences. Positive aspects can enhance your courage and determination, while challenging aspects may bring about obstacles that require resilience and adaptability. Lastly, the Nakshatra or lunar mansion in which Mars is placed adds an additional layer of meaning to your life's purpose and personality traits. Each Nakshatra has its unique attributes and influences, further refining your qualities and life path. Overall, if Mars is your Athmakaraka, you are known for your boldness and protectiveness, with your primary life purpose revolving around shielding others from harm and standing up against injustice. While you may often find yourself in conflicts, you possess an unwavering courage that drives you to take action. However, the specific influence of Mars as the Athmakaraka is determined by various astrological factors, including its zodiac sign, house placement, aspects, and the nakshatra it occupies, all of which contribute to shaping your unique personality and life journey. If Mercury is your Athmakaraka, you are naturally endowed with curiosity, wit, and a talent for communication and manual skills. In simpler terms, you're one of the inquisitive and clever ones who excel with your words and hands. When Mercury is your Athmakaraka, your life's purpose is often connected to the marketplace, but it's not solely about making a profit. Think of Mercury as the quintessential business person. However, being a business person in this context doesn't mean solely pursuing maximum gains. Instead, it involves engaging with the world in a multifaceted way. You have a youthful spirit and an insatiable thirst for knowledge and information. You're the friendly, chatty type who seems to know a lot of people, although your connections often remain on a surface level. Intellectual prowess is a hallmark of Mercury Athmakaraka individuals. You approach life with a logical mindset, always seeking to understand and make sense of the world around you. Asking questions is second nature to you, and your mind rarely takes a break. You're quick-witted and charming, making you an excellent conversationalist and problem solver. However, it can be challenging for you to switch off your active mind. Your thoughts are constantly buzzing, and you may find it difficult to relax. This mental agility, while beneficial in many ways, can also lead to restlessness. It's essential to recognize that Mercury's influence as the Athmakaraka is subject to various astrological factors, which can modify its expression. The zodiac sign in which Mercury is placed plays a significant role in shaping your intellectual and communicative style. For instance, Mercury in Gemini may enhance your communication skills, making you exceptionally articulate, while Mercury in Virgo could accentuate your analytical and detail-oriented nature. The house where Mercury resides provides insights into the specific areas of life where your communication and intellectual abilities come into play. A Mercury in the third house, for example, may signify a strong focus on communication within your immediate environment, while a Mercury in the ninth house might indicate a deep interest in higher knowledge and philosophy. Additionally, the aspects that Mercury forms with other planets in your birth chart contribute to your overall personality and life experiences. Positive aspects can amplify your intellectual prowess and communication skills, while challenging aspects may present obstacles that require adaptability and problem solving. Finally, the nakshatra or lunar mansion in which Mercury is positioned adds another layer of meaning to your life's purpose and qualities. Each nakshatra carries unique attributes and influences, further shaping your personality and life path. Overall, if Mercury is your Athmakaraka, you are characterized by your curiosity, wit, and proficiency with words and hands. Your life's purpose often revolves around engaging with the world, but not solely for profit. You have an insatiable appetite for knowledge, are intellectually inclined, and approach life in a logical manner. While your quick-wittedness and charm are assets, your active mind can make it challenging to switch off, all of which contribute to shaping your unique personality and life journey. If Jupiter is your Athmakaraka, you are known for your wisdom, cheerful disposition, and jovial nature. To put it simply, you are one of the knowledgeable and merry ones. When Jupiter is your Athmakaraka, your life's purpose is often linked to becoming a teacher, guide, or counselor who shares knowledge freely and generously, holding nothing back for any reason. You tend to exude positivity and optimism, believing that things will ultimately work out for the best. You have a genuine love for learning and make an excellent teacher and mentor, thriving in environments where you can both impart and acquire knowledge. You possess a happy-go-lucky attitude, always willing to help others, and approach life with a studious and adventurous spirit. 
Jupiter Athmakarakai individuals often encounter significant lessons related to teamwork and teaching, which help you refine your abilities and grow as mentors and guides. Furthermore, you tend to have a deep appreciation for history and literature, often collecting books and artifacts. Your principles and ideals are strong, and you may have a spiritual or religious inclination. You are drawn to exploring different cultures and belief systems, often traveling extensively or becoming part of diverse communities and followings. It's crucial to understand that Jupiter's influence as the Athmakaraka can be influenced by various astrological factors, which can shape its expression. The zodiac sign in which Jupiter is placed plays a significant role in defining your wisdom and overall personality. For example, Jupiter in Sagittarius may enhance your adventurous and philosophical nature, while Jupiter in Pisces could amplify your compassionate and intuitive qualities. The house where Jupiter resides offers insights into the specific areas of life where your wisdom and guidance shine brightest. A Jupiter in the ninth house, for instance, may signify a strong focus on higher knowledge and spiritual pursuits, while a Jupiter in the second house might emphasize your abilities in accumulating wealth and resources. Additionally, the aspects that Jupiter forms with other planets in your birth chart contribute to your personality and life experiences. Positive aspects can enhance your wisdom and optimism, while challenging aspects may bring about obstacles that require adaptability and resilience. Lastly, the nakshatra or lunar mansion in which Jupiter is positioned adds another layer of meaning to your life's purpose and qualities. Each nakshatra carries unique attributes and influences, further shaping your personality and life path. Overall, if Jupiter is your Athmakaraka, you are characterized by your wisdom, cheerfulness, and willingness to share knowledge. Your life's purpose often involves being a generous teacher, guide, or counselor who spreads wisdom without reservation. You possess a positive and optimistic outlook on life, enjoying learning and serving as a mentor. You are studious, adventurous, and often deeply connected to history, literature, and spiritual pursuits. Jupiter's influence as the Athmakaraka is subject to factors such as its zodiac sign, house placement, aspects, and the nakshatra it occupies, all of which contribute to shaping your unique personality and life journey. If Venus is your Athmakaraka, you are often seen as charming, friendly, and amiable. In simpler terms, you're very sociable ones. When Venus is your Athmakaraka, your life's purpose is typically centered around service and devotion to others. It means dedicating yourself to serving people without any selfish motives. It's not just about nurturing your own creativity or interests. It's about using your talents and abilities to bring happiness and joy to a broader audience. Venus, in its basic representation, signifies wealth and resources, particularly at the level of the physical body, as we need resources to sustain ourselves. You tend to exude warmth and sweetness and are usually incredibly diplomatic, avoiding rudeness and disharmony. You thrive in environments that promote balance and stability, and prefer the company of people and things that contribute to a harmonious atmosphere. A significant focus of your life centers on relationships. You tend to form numerous connections and enjoy building rapport with others. However, you often encounter profound lessons related to relationships, learning how to ground your desires and maintain healthy and balanced partnerships. You are known for your loving, caring, and charming nature, with a penchant for complimenting and making others feel special which makes you quite popular. It's important to recognize that the influence of Venus as the Athmakaraka can vary depending on various astrological factors. The zodiac sign in which Venus is placed plays a significant role in shaping your charm and overall personality. For example, Venus in Libra may enhance your sense of harmony and aesthetics, while Venus in Taurus could amplify your sensual and practical qualities. The house where Venus resides offers insights into the specific areas of life where your affable and artistic qualities are most prominent. A Venus in the fifth house, for instance, may signify a strong focus on creativity and romance, while a Venus in the seventh house could highlight your abilities in forming partnerships and collaborations. Additionally, the aspects that Venus forms with other planets in your birth chart contribute to your personality and life experiences. Positive aspects can enhance your charm and diplomatic skills, while challenging aspects may bring about obstacles that require adaptability and compromise. Lastly, the nakshatra or lunar mansion in which Venus is positioned adds an additional layer of meaning to your life's purpose and qualities. Each nakshatra carries unique attributes and influences, further shaping your personality and life path. Overall, if Venus is your Athmakaraka, you are characterized by your charm, friendliness, and dedication to serving others. Your life's purpose revolves around selfless devotion and using your talents to bring happiness to a wider audience. You are warm, diplomatic, 
and thrive in harmonious environments. Relationships are a central focus in your life, and you often learn important lessons about maintaining balance in partnerships. Your loving and caring nature, along with your ability to make others feel special, contributes to your popularity. The specific influence of Venus as the Athmakaraka is determined by factors such as its zodiac sign, house placement, aspects, and the nakshatra it occupies, all of which contribute to shaping your unique personality and life journey. If Saturn is your Athmakaraka, you are often regarded as having one of the most challenging Athmakarakas. Your life path contends to be quite demanding. When Saturn is your Athmakaraka, your soul's purpose or destination is closely tied to being fair and just in all aspects of life. In essence, it means ensuring fairness and justice, even if it involves facing or addressing various forms of suffering, whether your own or helping those who are suffering. You are notably patient, disciplined, and responsible, prioritizing your duties and commitments with great dedication. However, you may come across as distant, cold, and somewhat aloof, making it challenging for others to get close to you or fully understand you. You may distance yourself from people around you. You are often described as noble, mature, and wise. Saturn, in astrological terms, represents the Lord of Justice. Therefore, when Saturn is your Athmakaraka, your life's mission is to stand firmly on the side of justice, truth, and fairness in all matters. Even if it means going against your own loved ones, you are committed to upholding these principles. You invest significant effort in everything you commit to, whether it's a person or a task. People often turn to you when they need help, advice, or support of any kind. You have a deep desire to be of service, and charity holds a special place in your heart. It's important to understand that the influence of Saturn as the Athmakaraka can be shaped by various astrological factors, which can modify its expression. The zodiac sign in which Saturn is placed plays a significant role in defining your personality and approach to life. For example, Saturn in Capricorn may enhance your sense of responsibility and ambition, while Saturn in Aquarius could amplify your humanitarian and unconventional tendencies. The house where Saturn resides provides insights into the specific areas of life where your sense of duty and responsibility is most prominent. A Saturn in the 10th house, for instance, may signify a strong focus on career and public life, while a Saturn in the 4th house could emphasize your commitment to family and home life. Additionally, the aspects that Saturn forms with other planets in your birth chart contribute to your overall personality and life experiences. Positive aspects can enhance your discipline and sense of duty, while challenging aspects may bring about obstacles that require patience and perseverance. Lastly, the nakshatra or lunar mansion in which Saturn is positioned adds an additional layer of meaning to your life's purpose and qualities. Each nakshatra carries unique attributes and influences, further shaping your personality and life path. Overall, if Saturn is your Athmakaraka, you are known for your commitment to fairness and justice. Your life's purpose is to address suffering and uphold principles of truth and fairness, even if it means facing challenges or going against loved ones. You are patient, responsible, and dedicated to your duties. While you may appear distant, you are deeply committed to serving others and engaging in acts of charity. The specific influence of Saturn as the Athmakaraka is determined by factors such as its zodiac sign, house placement, aspects, and the nakshatra it occupies, all of which contribute to shaping your unique personality and life journey. Regardless of which planet is designated as your Athmakaraka, there's a consistent message. It indicates that we should commit ourselves to helping and serving others, fulfilling our duty, Dharma, toward others in this lifetime. These indicators guide us on how we are meant to do this lifetime. Essentially, astrology and these planetary indicators encourage us to be supportive and helpful to one another. It's important to consider various factors such as the positions and strengths of the planets, as well as the timing of specific planetary periods dashes. When determining the best actions or activities to fulfill your life's purpose and achieve spiritual growth. Ultimately, a thorough analysis of your birth chart will offer insights into the specific actions and choices that align with your soul's purpose. If you'd like more personalized predictions or have any questions about your astrological chart, feel free to reach out to us. Stay tuned for more contents. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more astrological insights. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you once again for joining us, and we eagerly anticipate sharing more astrological wisdom with you in the future. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright.